I'm Allie, and I painted my first mural. Yay! <laughs> As a self-proclaimed and also generally recognized crafty gal, this has been on the old creative bucket list for a long time now. It all fell into place when my boyfriend opened a physical therapy clinic, and he was all like, yay, I'm gonna help people. And I was like, cool, but you know what would help me? Some empty walls to paint on. It's not exactly how it went down, but it's close enough, and who's really gonna fact check me? We actually went with the first sketch I did, which made that part easy, and would absolutely come back to bite me in the end. Along with being a physical therapist, he's also a powerlifter and powerlifting coach, and the clinic is in a gym. So we wanted to incorporate the powerlifting and Olympic lifts, and this is what we ended up with. I initially planned for this to be a cute little fun weekend project, but right around the same time, my body decided to entirely betray me, so I was super, super slow, but we got there eventually. I have lots of thoughts on the supplies I used and reflections on the process that I'm not going to get crazy deep into in this video to keep it brief, but if that's something anyone is interested in, definitely leave me a comment and let me know below. The long story short of it is I had way too many supplies, Definitely would have done some stuff differently in hindsight, and this shit is hard. I used a projector to get my images up onto the wall, and this is probably my favorite part of the whole thing, because I think the videos of me trying to rig it up to be the right height are just so funny. I watch this, and it's just that circusy music playing in my head in the background, but when I finally got the projector set up, I used colored chalk to transfer the design to the wall. This was a last minute switch, because I was initially going to use pencil, and looking back, I think for this specific design, pencil probably would have been a little bit easier. Granted, I've never done one with pencil, so I don't know, but I do have a lot of thoughts on the pros and cons of the chalk. Let's just say it was a bit of a love-hate relationship. Once it was painting time, I was excited because I got these brushes that I think are like meant for wall paint because of course it's impossible for me to not get a ton of supplies for each individual thing I do. I love getting supplies for craft. It's a problem. But even the smallest ones ended up being too big for a lot of the areas I was filling in, so I had to use mostly just like the normal paint brushes that I had previously, which was totally fine, but the coverage of like each coat of paint with the those new brushes was definitely a lot nicer and it just went on so much thicker so that pained me like just a little bit because I feel like I would have had to do way fewer coats with those brushes. On the painting note, I being totally reasonable and not at all silly yeah, okay. thought since my sketch was only three colors it would be easy. Insert cricket sounds here. It turns out that that's not very sound thinking, and <gasps> no. the number of colors does not correlate to the ease. What? Looking back, that's really obvious. But my thought was, since the gray and the black were just like big shapes to fill in, that'd be a piece of cake, and then there'd be a little bit of struggle with the red. Which was true, the red definitely was a bit of a struggle because painting straight thin lines is so hard. Not to mention straight thin lines on an immovable vertical object? Crazy. But then there was also the added layer of trying to figure out if it was better to paint the black and the gray than the red over it, or paint the red first and the black and the gray around it, or paint the black and gray around where the red would go then fill in the red. I definitely did try every single possible configuration of this that I could think of, and even at the end of everything, I could not tell you what I think the most ideal setup was. But finally, after what was way longer than initially anticipated, it felt like lifetimes had passed, I actually finished. There were definitely a lot of points where I really did not think this would happen and there were definitely a lot of days that I just like went and harped on the little details and I was trying to clean it up and use the wall paint to clean up different parts and just like make little fixes and changes. I've literally never had a single ounce of chill a day in my life. Being myself I'm never fully happy with anything that I do which I need to work on um but eventually I was just like I need to stop we need to call it somewhere and this is how she turned out. It was definitely such a fun process and I'm so glad that I was able to do this and had the opportunity to do this because being someone who's never painted a mural, it's not always easy to find walls in this economy. But I would definitely love to do more murals, but I am afraid to do them in my own apartment because renting. I have since actually gotten to paint my friend's logo on the door of her studio and might have some more in the works with her. We'll see how it works out. So, if y'all have any spare walls lying around, let's chat. Thanks for watching.